Would you like to get that glass smooth surface finish on your rockets? That's a common question that we get from modelers. How do you get a smooth surface? So I'm going to show you in this video my technique. And this will come from our series on building the Saturn 1B, which is this rocket kit right here. So let's go ahead and watch. So our first process here on this tube is we need to fill the spirals with primer. Now there are several different ways to fill these spirals and if you come to the Apogee website and you go to our advanced construction videos you'll see like three different ways. Um, you can use the Elmer's fill and finish, you can use a spot filler made for automotive products. Um, or you could use a sandable primer. And that's what I'm going to do here uh, because these seams are pretty tight. Now everybody always asks me what is the best sandable primer to use? And the honest answer is I haven't found one that I like. I think they're all crap. Um, I shouldn't say crap. <laughs> but um, that's just my opinion of it. But you want a high build sandable primer. Um, what I don't like about most primers is they are very runny and um, when you put them on the rocket they sand they sand okay uh, but it's so thin that you wonder was it really high build? The best primers that I found are an automotive urethane primer which means it's a two-part mix and you gotta spray it out of an air gun. Now most model rocketeers don't have that type of equipment so that's why I'm using the rattle cans like this. Um, but the process is the same. So what we want to do is to put it on really thick and then we're going to sand like 90% of it right off the tube. Um, and then we're going to put it on again, sand it again, and then finally we're going to put on the final color. Now. Um, there's two versions of the Saturn 1B. There's the black and white tubes, which is what I have here. And then for like the Skylab missions, they were all white. So it's up to you to decide what way you're going to do it. Uh, but I'm going to do the black and white version. So I'm going to use uh, flat black and flat white. Uh, now for good paint. Um, I like the Tamiya brand and I'm not getting any uh, royalties on there. Tamiya, you should pay me for saying this. This is really good paint and it's very forgiving which is what I like. It dries fast and you can touch it right away without it leaving fingerprints. Uh, but it's very expensive. I went out and bought this at the ho local hobby store and it was here in 2019. It was already seven dollars a can. and You're going to need several cans of this. Um, so it's going to put a lot of expense on your rocket if you choose to use that brand. But it's up to you. You can use whatever you want. Flat white, flat black. So let's go out and put our first coat of the sandable primer on top of these tubes. Okay, so this is going to be a quick tutorial on painting. Um, I've got my tube ready. Oh, incidentally, we're outdoors behind Apogee. And right behind the camera is the interstate, so you might hear some cars running right by us. It's nice being near the interstate, except for when you're trying to make videos outside. <laughs> um, so I got my paint and my tube here. And when I paint, I want to come across the tube and then stop and then start coming back this way too. Uh, the first thing I always do is I spray up in the air to see which way the wind's blowing so that it's not blowing the vapors in my face. Um, it seems to be blowing up. I got a little swirling here, but it's not bad. So I'll go ahead and you also see that I rotate the tube as I go. Oop, I sprayed my hand. That's why I wear gloves. Okay, and then I continue to rotate 
even while it's still wet, just so that it doesn't drip until some of these solvents evaporate out. Um, and I want to put this on light coats, but I want to build up a pretty thick layer to fill in all these spirals. So it's going to take several coats. Um, so I'm, I'm looking for the tube to lose its shine. Once it loses its shine, I can go ahead and spray the next coat. Our tube has now been primed and it's time to start sanding and our goal here is to remove all the paint or pretty much most of it to get down to to where the seams are even with the top surface and for this I'm using 220 grit sandpaper um, 180 to maybe 250 grit would probably be okay for this task and we're just going to sand it And as you can see, it gets pretty dusty. Um, so you might want to wear a particle mask for this. Uh, when we get done sanding, I want the tube to kind of look like this. And you can just see the um, seams, the spirals are filled and most of the paint has been removed. At this point we want to go out and spray paint it one more time um, and then we're going to wet sand. The, the tube has been painted a second time and I'm going to wet sand it and for that I just have a little tray of water nothing special about that and I'm going to remove the tube there and for this I'm going to use either 400 or 600 grit sandpaper and this is the wet dry sandpaper and it's specifically made to get wet and what you do is you'll dip it in the water get it nice and wet and then we're going to sand it and the purpose of this is just to smooth out just that that roughness that you can feel on on primer um, and this will just take off that that just that little bit of roughness and it's going to make it nice and smooth and if you start sanding and you're getting down into paper, you better stop. You better stop right away because water and paper, they don't mix. Um, what's going to happen is the paper fibers are going to swell up. And then basically what you have to do is to prime it all over again, basically almost starting over from scratch to get, uh, to get it nice and smooth again. Just keep, keep the paper wet because that kind of lubricates it so you're not taking off a lot of paint. You're just knocking off those, those rough edges. Okay, and then when you're done, just go ahead and take off all the water. And now you're ready to paint. And at this point, you can either paint them white or black, depending on which version of the Saturn 1B that you're making. Now I'm ready to start painting the actual color on. And I'm going to start with black. And this is a flat black. Uh, this process is the same as before. The first coat is very light. Um, it's just to get some color on there. Okay, and it's drying as fast as I'm putting it on, which is why it, it doesn't look shiny. Uh, because it's black and we're outdoors in the hot sun, um, it's drying really fast, which is good. So that means I can put the next coat on 
fairly soon. At this point, the tubes are painted, so I'm just going to set them aside and start building the engine mount that goes in the kit. 